Hi everyone, it's Rosie K here at This Kind of Girl. Today I have a special treat for you all. Uh, I am joined by the lovely Matt from Swingathon. Now Matt is the event organiser for the Swingathon Festival, which is happening right here in the UK um, this summer, which is very exciting. Matt is joining us today to tell us about where is it happening? When is it happening? Is it suitable for first time swingers? What events are happening? Um, and kind of expectations that people have, because I myself have some kind of questions that I'd like answering. And also I've been receiving so many uh, kind of questions, concerns and worries from people regarding Swingathon. So I thought, I know what I'd do. I get Matt on the YouTube channel and I'll give him a good grilling, essentially. So that is what I'm going to do. So welcome, Matt. It's lovely to have you here. You're right there, Rosie. Hi there. <laughs> so first of all, could you tell our, well, my lovely viewers, when is the festival happening and whereabouts is it taking place? It is the 20th um, of July until the 23rd of July. So uh, yeah, it's a four-day festival, uh, the Thursday till the Sunday. And it is in South Lincolnshire. Okay. Um, but you're not revealing the exact location till later on, is that right? No, we do that. That will be sent out 24 hours before. That is just to keep it under an act, uh, just for, um, yeah, just the obvious reasons of trying to keep the press away or yeah. anybody else. Yeah. Don't want that. Keep people yeah. safe on that. And it, that, that whole... Uh, you know, revealing the location. That's not that um, uncommon for swinger parties and events. I myself, and I'm sure you as well, have been to plenty of events where you kind of, you bought your ticket and you know a, a rough idea of where it is and then they send you the postcode like a day before. So it's not that uncommon, is it? Because I know that for first time people, that might be something they're a little bit worried about. Um, and also people like me who like to be incredibly organised, <laughs> um, but they're not to worry, right? It's very normal. That, yeah, yeah, it's very, that is very normal. But yes, we get lots of people like it blows the mind up, yeah, because they yeah. want to have a like six months in advance. So we try and give them a rough location. Yeah. We yeah. keep them in, until like 24 hours before, yeah. and then they find the route. But the yeah, they roughly know where they're going, you know, yeah. within 20, 30 minutes away. Yeah. Um, but the actual final one just obviously locked under the at. And then it's very, it's quite exciting as well, you know, because the last minute oh, it pings through, and then half of them go, Oh well, I've been that place before. Or, you know, uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Um, but also, I think it's important to remember that one reason you do this is for the guests' own security as well, because you don't want lots of people, you know, bombarding the event. You don't want unwanted attention. You don't want people turning up with their camera phones or you know trying to get in or whatever. So, I think it's important to remember that you do this for a reason. You don't do it just to piss people off, essentially. <laughs> Then, yeah, it's a fine line because obviously we want to push the event as hard as we can, but then like going down certain routes of advertising, it yeah, it, it, it just yeah, it just draws problems in from yeah. the wrong people. Obviously, yeah, all as we want is just to have a good time with everybody. Obviously, no one's doing nothing wrong or anything, but we just want it just to be all of us like there and obviously keep anybody out that like we don't want there, basically. Yeah. I understand that. Now I touched a minute ago on first time swingers. Um, now, this is my my area of expertise, my niche, although swingers, but, you know, first time swingers, I get a lot of first time swingers come to me asking for advice. I need to ask you, what can first time swingers expect from going to Swingathon? Well, even for us, we'd not been swinging an awful long time when we first started. <laughs> the first my missus was like absolutely going crazy about it, but I just went off and did it. So like I say, we hadn't got all that much like kind of experience and stuff anyway um so she was literally bricking herself but for everybody it's just the same as going to your first time to a club or a first time to a social event or anything like that just go there with no expectations don't put too much pressure on yourself and just go and have a good time and what will happen will happen and i'm mm. sure that you'll face and you'll be like wow that was the best thing i've ever done mm. Just about obviously getting there and overcoming those nerves, but once you're there, you'll completely forget about them. Hundred percent. So, thank you for that. Now, I had a look at the kind of the events that are happening, and you've got a very busy four days planned by the looks of things. Um, so, what can guests expect when they when they are 
playing at Swingathon or at Swingathon? So there is literally everything on the programme from live bands. Uh, we've got DJs. We've got a drag act, which is very good. We've got a comedian coming. We've got yourself, obviously, coming to do some tour. Um, yeah, so it's, yeah, like, it's fair. It's, yeah, it's pretty action-packed. Um, we kind of start the programme from midday onwards, and then it just parties all the way through the night. Yeah. And, yeah, it's fair. That gives people time to recharge the battery in the mornings. Mm. We've obviously vendors there we've got two bars coming this year um it's kind of everything that you need really even got like a little mini shop coming just in case you run out of bread and milk and <laughs> your cigarettes or whatever uh so yeah basically all there on site for you but it is quite action-packed and some of it like you can just sit and watch like we've got jelly wrestling on and all that kind of thing where like, you get involved but it's up to you if you want to get involved or just sit there and have a beer and watch. Yeah. Um, same at night time. Like, yeah, there's lots of stuff on. And I'm sure most of you um, will all enjoy it. Yeah. Because I think one thing which a few people have mentioned to me is like, is it, you know, you get in and then people kind of get straight down to it, but not at all by the sounds of it. As you said, you've got live music, you've got, you know, comedian, you've got different, uh, bars you've got different I know you've got different food vendors so it's much more of a like you said a normal regular festival with the swinging element if you want to 100 percent, yeah 100 yeah. so the first like we also have a big bonfire so it's just like a bit of a sort of chill around the bonfire we've got um yeah there's a live band um that will be playing as well so it's just a bit of a chilled night kind of all around the fire all getting to know each other like most of these people have been speaking to each other online for probably six months, 12 months. And that's the first time where they'll actually meet properly. Yeah. So it's funny how people come together like very quick. Like they've already broken the ice on yeah. our like WhatsApp and that sort of thing. So they've already broken the ice and then obviously they meet up. And yeah, so like the first night's a very chilled night. The Friday night's the big party night. You know, that's where people seem to go over the top um, on the drink. And then the Saturday's kind of, yeah, the last chance, but then they have to drive home Sunday, so they go a bit more steady. Yeah. Um, that's how it works. It kind of goes uphill and then downhill. Uh, <laughs> like most but, festivals and most events like that, though. So, 100%, 100% yeah. Um, um, I had a question for you that I, I was curious about. Now, I know that you have a verification system in place for single guys who want to visit, but do couples need to be verified and do single women need to be verified everybody everybody that comes um yeah that's our main rule to be honest which is also another reason just to keep obviously the press away or anybody that we don't want there away it's just a good way of sieving through people if they've got verifications then it's just an easier way of making the event yeah, with nicer people if that makes sense without yeah. I mean, uh, that we don't need or don't want and it's, to fair, the last two years, it's worked. Um, so, yeah, that is our sort of main rule. Everybody has to have at least uh, your three verifications. OK, that's yeah, because, again, within the, the within the swinger uh, world or singer lifestyle, we all know kind of the, the protocols for verifications and we look on other, other profiles to see who's verified. But it's good to know that you're following those steps as well. Um, so everybody who's there is, you know, reputable because that is the only thing essentially that that we have to go off with with swinging, isn't it? So it can be a little difficult. Yeah, like it's an odd one and we hate sort of turning people away. But at the same time, we have to just to keep people safe and obviously keep the festival all 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 like over the right you know, let's say mindset of people yes. uh, um so yeah like it's fair it's not yeah it's yeah it's a difficult one let's say but that's how we do it um yeah. it's just three uh, and to fair you whether that comes off fab or like sdc um or fet life or so basically all all of those um yeah sort of platform um and then yeah okay that's lovely. Thank you for sharing that because I know that that's a question that I had and I know that it's one which so many people um, are going to be wondering. Um, so where can people find out all about Swingathon? Swingathons, um, if they go uh, just onto Google, um, it's all over there. It's either on Google, it's on Instagram, it's on Twitter. 
Um, it's on Discord. But yes, uh, if you just go straight onto Google, type in Swing Upon. Thank you very much for sharing. Um, and I need to ask before I go, are you going to be participating in this year's Swing Upon? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> like the I know, like... <laughs> every, I've had a lot of problems having to sort things out and make things work and whatever else. But this year we seem to have a very good team behind us. Uh, hopefully we'll be a bit more chilled this year because, yeah, the last two years, <laughs> hard work <laughs> uh, <hopefully>. lovely <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today um it's been an absolute pleasure if you want to find out more about stringathon more about uh what to expect and the event you can do so hit the well click on the um on the description for this video, you will see the links to Swingathon. You'll see the links to the blog article I wrote about it. Um, and also the other video that uh, we recorded as well. So thank you very much for joining today. Um, it has been a pleasure. And I hope to see you guys and girls uh, at Swingathon this year. <laughs>